have four brothers and one sister. We went to public school in the Turks and Caicos, watching my dad and all five of his brothers own businesses. And my mom's a nurse. So starting out of high school, I followed her footsteps. One day, I said, Dad, what's gonna happen to your company when it's time for you to retire? She said, Daddy, say you're getting older. Say, when you can't work no more, say, who's gonna take over your company? I said, well, if none of the boys gonna do anything, I guess I'll have to turn it over to some strangers. And that did something to me because in our community already, we don't have a lot of times much to give to our children. So she said, no, I'll go back to school and I will learn it and then I will work with you. And I felt like if I went back to school and learned HVAC, that I could one day go back home to Turks and Caicos and help run the family business. I'm sure he might have been a little sad that it was the girl doing it and not the boys, but I honestly think that he's still equally proud. It makes me proud to know that, and she is encouraging other young women to know that you just don't have to be stuck with a certain uh, stigma type of work. When I came to Atlanta Tech and took the tour with Mr. Norman Johnson, it just felt like a family. I was not shunned to say because I was a female in this industry. I'm a poster boy for technical training. What's special about Atlanta Tech is its ability to get a student in and out and for them to be able to reach their goals from start to finish. We have a saying, start strong and finish strong. She can go way up to the top, however far the top is. She's really just eating it up right now. And then she's enjoying the process. Not only did she take air conditioning, she also took construction management. So it gave her opportunity to deal in multiple fields. Get into the engineering part, get into design, get into estimating. And she took all of that and she kept going. She started her own company, Selvis & Co. And on top of that, she started her first kids book for women in construction. She's constantly doing something new. I mean, to come up with a children's book, that was just genius. I thought that it would make sense to start with the youth. And that's when I wrote Connie Loves Construction. Every time I talk to people, oh, it's your daughter that wrote the book. Oh, it's your daughter that doing air conditioning. That man played to make us sometime before I came out of my eyes. I'm the daddy's girl. When continued education, start looking for an instructor. I said the person who you might want to get would be Miss Silva. I loved Atlanta Tech so much, I returned as an instructor. It's my desire to inspire, and I'm doing that. I have a following. I am definitely assisting with producing the next generation of construction professionals, one book at a time. <laughs>